Today, we're gonna take a little lighting. We're gonna take this specific YouTube studio from this to this. Let's get started. Lighting is absolutely everything when you're shooting a video. So it doesn't matter if you shoot on a cinema camera or on an iPhone or whatever camera you have. If you have good lighting and you know how to use it, your videos will look 100% more professional. The first light we're gonna use is the key light. And the key light, it's the main light that light your subject. As you can see right now, it's all dark. So let's turn off the key light. Here we go. My key light is a Godox SL60W. I've been using this key light for about a year now. I'm very satisfied with it. It's just a classic big stand light. And you wanna try and put this light as close to your face as you can. Right now, you can't see it. It's literally over here, just out of frame. This way, it gets very nice and soft and it fills out all the shadows in your face. You can also angle the light in different directions and different angles to have a different effect into your image right now and to be honest my personal preferred for this kind of youtube studio setup is pretty much 45 to side angle to me and top down it just looks super nice and it kind of fills the face a little bit and still leaves a bit of a, of a dark side on this side that's going to be filled in by our rim light another thing you can do is change this whole softbox to a shorter mount that comes with this specific light or any kind of a big light, I would say. And by doing that and putting that very close to your face, you will have a much more dramatic and much more, kind of like one side of the face is gonna be very bright, one side very dark, so you get this very cool, dramatic and cinematic look. Next up is our rim light. The rim light is used pretty much to separate your subject from the background even more. To be honest, the rim light is not that necessary. It just adds a little bit of a touch of niceness to your image. So let's turn the rim light, which I just sticky tape the skirt in because I don't have an extra tripod. Let's turn it on right now. And now it's on. As you can see, it just gives a little bit of like blue tint to this side of my body and my face and it helps separate myself, the subject from the background. All right, you could actually just be done like this. You have a nice frame light, a nice key light that light up your face and all behind you is so kind of dark. So you have this nice separation between light and dark in the background. But one more thing you can do to add a bit more like a three dimension look to your image is add practicals. Practicals are small lights that you place in the background just to add a bit more vibe, a bit more texture and a bit more depth into the video. So let's turn on all of our practicals. Boom, and just like that, everything I would normally use is on. As you can see behind me, my practicals are one, a Dickin lightsaber on a tripod that pretty much acts like a room lamp in the corner. Then right behind my head, right behind my body, I put a LED light, which is a pretty strong LED light, turned the same tone as my rim light to help kind of separate my head and my subject from the background by creating this kind of like halo effect behind my head. Then right on the shelf, we have two small LED lights that I just place down and turn it on. I have them set at the same color as the lightsaber just so they complement each other. And then just below that, I have a LED sign that says Define, which is my company, Define Media, that my lovely girlfriend got for me. So this is the lighting setup I use for my usual token heads at home in my pretty much <laughs> living room. And yeah, this is it i think it's pretty easy to make once you have a couple of lights so if you guys try any of these techniques let me know below aside from that i hope you learned something new and i'll see you guys next week like and subscribe as always thank you for being part of this journey peace